Welcome to Authentically Rita. Today, you're traveling with me to Kisum City by road. I'm traveling with Easy Coach and I'm already at the railway bus station which is their head office and I'm just waiting to board. I love Easy Coach because it's very comfortable and the price is favorable. <laughs> And the journey finally begins. We are going to be traveling roughly 355 kilometers. That's around 6 hours and 30 minutes. But this depends with their speed. People who go with private cars might use 5 hours. Nairobi has really been raining of late. But we are not complaining. We are not complaining. We, in fact, we need this rain. Hatu taki shida zakukosa maji. So buckle up and let's go travel together. I'm telling you the route to Kisumu is so interesting. And it has a lot of scenic views, you know. Views for life. So... Twende, 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 twende. As you travel, always ensure that you don't lose your ticket. You will need it at various spots along the way because there are some checks which will be done and I'm sure you don't want to be harassed. So keep it somewhere close. Remember to carry some drinking water. A sanitizer will also come in handy, of course, with some wet wipes when you want to probably eat and you don't have clean water. You also need some snacks. Personally, I prefer eating dry foods, so I carry stuff such as crisps or apples, anything dry. No. We still haven't left Nairobi. We are actually along Upuru Highway and the traffic. Well, it's crazy. But I'm not that surprised. It's Nairobi. That's the order of the day. I'm just a little bit bothered. Lakini lazima tuvumilie. That's our driver over there. From the look of things, he's gonna be a good driver. Let's surrender everything to God and pray for a safe journey. So we are approaching Waiyaki Way. And Waiyaki Way is actually one of the highways which has some amazing amenities. Like for example, that is Park Inc. by Radisson. That's actually a hotel which has some really, really amazing reviews. Personally, I've not visited it, but one day I believe I will. There's nothing impossible under this sun. Yeah. So we are still approaching. We are on Waiyaki Way. And by the way, we have um, a gym because I find at leisure to be comfy when you're traveling. Stretch iko poa. So comfort iko sawa. So twende, 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 twende. You ni KPMG. Bado tuko Waiyaki Way. KPMG ko ABC place. 
and kuna Deloitte hapo oh those are two audit firms the big firms eh? because peer along with yaki way as you can see hapo kuna quick mart peer but iko wa yaki way no sooner had we reached a quarter way of the journey than Mrs. Usingizi decided to show up and for me I said why not so I took a nap and actually I think it's because the previous night I slept late doing what watching movies on Netflix <music> Can you spot what I'm saying? Huh? Can you? That's the Great Rift Valley. Let's have a better view. Look at dog. Yeah, there, there. Hapo. That's the Great Rift Valley view. And this is actually one of the attractions in Kenya. People actually stop over here take photos and just have a better view of the Rift Valley and the Rift Valley is actually one of the attractions in Kenya it boasts wildlife beautiful lakes and escarpments just see for yourself Kenya is such a beautiful country mimi zihami kenya zihami zihami so you can see there are various curio shops along there you can stop get yourself some Maasai sugars and other souvenirs. Oh, Kenya is beautiful. Go check it. Now, Easy Coach normally has some designated stopovers, but our driver was considerate enough to stop here because someone was pressed. The stop lasted around five minutes. To Mefika Naivasha. Vasha, yeah? I understand the name Naivasha was derived from a Maasai name by the name Naiposha, which means rough waters. Naivasha is actually another very perfect tourist destination. It has some really, really amazing hotels and campsites. So if you're thinking of holidays and you don't want to go to probably the coast, you can also check out Naivasha. I did a video about a hidden gem in Naivasha. You can go check it out. I'll put a link down below. At this point, I thought it was the best time for me now to listen to some good music. By the way, always remember to carry some form of entertainment while you're traveling. If you love music, don't forget. If you love reading, carry your magazines or your novels, whatever excites you. Just yeah. after Naivasha, we have this place called Elementaita. It's actually between Naivasha and Nakuru. And right there, it's Lake Elementaita, which is also one of the major lakes in Kenya. Let me point some arrows. Yeah, that one over there. I hope you have seen it clearly. Data also has some amazing hotels, like for example, Lake Elementaita Mountain Lodge, New Yapo Sand Bird Lodge, Mahoteli Kada Kada, Apa Piani Place Poa. If you want to like come for a holiday, I would say you won't be disappointed. Na hauta kosa options. So, guys, we are now approaching Nakuru, Nakuru City. Correction, Nakuru City. Nakuru actually became a city in December 2021, making it the fourth city in Kenya after, of course, Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu. So, Nakuru is a city. We'll see, confused. 
and it's also another very developed town and i'm sure it's going to develop much much more after being declared a city so easy coach normally has an official stopover in nakuru which is actually their offices and that's where we're heading to right now that way that way that's a place where we stop for like 20 minutes so that people can have their lunch get refreshed before we proceed so right now we are going to the station i normally find this to be like halfway the journey At this point I just feel like stretching out my legs and the good thing about easy coach is that they have their seats normally have enough legroom so you, you always have a comfy ride either way but it's always good to have those tops again and just stretch out refresh before embarking on your safari <laughs> They are see how to share stop. The Yoapo restaurant, which is a 24-hour pharmacy. Then we also have a supermarket over there. That's their public washroom. And always remember to carry your coins. I forgot to mention. Carry your coins so that you can have this idea. You have those that 10 shilling to pay just carry loose money in short and while you're here always ensure that you take note of your easy coach number so that you're not left at this point dere alikuwa me jam kuna msi alikuwa nafa kuboard from nakuru but eh hati alikuwa mepoteza receipt so this guy was moving up and down he was also complaining they were all saying that as popata tawachwa so that lady struggled and eventually she got her ticket and we proceeded with our journey it reached a point where i decided now let me do something for my boutique I cannot neglect my boutique even if I'm traveling. So I decided to edit photos for the thrift store, the online thrift store. And I'm working on the romper shots currently because that is what's hot. That's what's selling at the moment. I think it's because people are going for holidays. You know, the December is around the corner. Festivities are just in people's mind. So that's romper shots, which I'm editing. As you can see, I've taken photo backside and front side. I love doing that so that a customer can have a clear perspective of the outfit. And I use Canva. I totally love this app because you can use it comfortably on your phone and desktop as well. And it's absolutely free. If you want to check out my boutique, go. I'll put a link down below. <laughs> Let's continue with our beautiful journey. We've now reached Kericho, which is home to the best tea worldwide. I mean, tea from Kericho cannot be compared to any other tea worldwide. That one I can tell you for free. Some of the largest tea companies in Kenya, summer, such as James Finley, Unilever Kenya, Williamson, are from here. It is also home to the famous Ketepa tea. I love me good tea. This book when you try by the way, you normally have headaches. Then it's only letter Jew. I didn't even try. So let me just leave you to enjoy this beautiful tea plantation. What a scenic view. I just love watching this. It's so refreshing. 
makes me just chill, relax, and just ponder on the positives of life, you know. King is truly blessed. Gafla bin vu mvu wata na ikaanza. Eh? Vua ikatere muka, ikatere muka, ikatere muka. So madama hapa angeza kuhumilia. Usingizi ndo yoi kamchukua. She had no option. She had no option. Hey, kuna mtu alikuwa nongia na nguvu kwa semo. I had to wake up. Yani hata singe, singe ndelea. I just had to wake up. Our drivers, we stopped over at Kericho. Again, Easy Coach has an office over here. This stop doesn't last long. It's just roughly 10 minutes for people just to go to the washroom before we continue. So, in Johao, we are embarking on our safari. This road must lead us to Kisumu today. So let's keep moving, let's keep moving. I love that view, the way the road is, the green, I just love that view. It looks so healthy and fertile. So we are now on our way to Kisum City. <laughs> And we are finally in Kisum City. Kisumu is the third largest capital city after Nairobi and Mombasa. So we are at United Mall. This is where the Easy Coach office of Kisumu is. And that's where I'm going to alight. I thank God for a safe journey. But lakini miguzangu zika on fire. Well, I just need a good massage. So right now, I'm going to look for accommodation. And today, I'm on a budget. Si jakuja holidays, jakuja kuji enjoy. I'm on a budget. So let me check out spots where I can find good, good hotel, good room which is still on a budget. I will share with you once I find one tomorrow, uh, on the, uh, not tomorrow, in the next video, so that anytime you're in Kisumu and you're looking for affordable accommodation, you have somewhere to start from. Sema ku beat we ni me choka. But let me just grab something first, then go and relax. Nas na mimi ni nani lazima ni kule samaki ni kwa kisumu samaki lazima. So see you tomorrow.